Okay, here's a quick clip of how the vanity graph is working. Uh, right down there you can see the bottom brushes which actually goes to this wire down to ground and I got the whole thing propped up on a five gallon bucket which keeps it insulated from ground <clears throat> helps build up a better static charge up towards the top of the dome uh, right here on the shaft of the motor uh, I don't know if you can tell but that white stuff on there is actually Teflon tape uh, Teflon is a good I believe negative uh, conductive uh, something or other <laughs> I don't know Teflon seems to work the best on the bottom roller anyway from there uh, what I'm using is this uh, blue rubber band type thing that I got from some kind of exercising kit that I got stretched up through the top there which I'm using a 4 inch PVC pipe and from there it's on the platform right here and it goes up about oh, 2 feet up here to the top where the top roller is located and I actually made the top roller <clears throat> out of a bed frame wheel that I bought from my local um, the home improvement store and uh, from there it's just a nylon roller that I smoothed over and made it real smooth with a blowtorch kind of made the plastic uh, really smooth that way you get when the belt rubs across it you get a good static cling between the belt and the roller and my pickup uh, combs if you can see right here see I'm getting the light too much all I did was use a little bit of coat hanger uh, that I bent from this point right here that I got zip tied around it all the way around to the other side where I got two couple holes drilled and zip tied on <clears throat> and my pickup brushes are just a couple uh, pieces of copper wire that I soldered on to another piece of coat hanger that runs vertically across there if you can see what I'm talking about and then just that one one wire uh, right here that curls up that all connects together right there and then from there the dome goes on top of that that sits on top of these four pieces right here and there that collects the charge other than that uh, just a little details here and there that you use on your model whether you make it with different types of motors or whatever else that's pretty much the concept on how it works and then find yourself something a really large dome uh, like what I'm using right here I bought from Walmart for about five bucks just a big salad dish polished it real nice and smooth and that's about it and from there it's all tweaking and tuning and finding